My name is uh, Joe Di Maria, and as Mauricio said, I am a candidate for the Maryland House of Delegates from District 17, that's Rockville and Gaithersburg. And the House of Delegates is the lower house of the state legislature. Now, I know that most of you or all of you are small business owners. And uh, I wanna say that I grew up in a family business. Uh, I started actually in fifth grade cleaning my father's store, including the bathroom once a week. That was my job. Uh, I think they gave me like a dollar each time, but in those days, a dollar went pretty far. And then when I was 14, as soon as I was old enough, uh, he put me to work in the warehouse loading and unloading trucks. Now my father dropped out of school in ninth grade during the Great Depression to go to work. So uh, he was a great believer in education because he didn't have much, but he was also a great believer in kids getting out there and working too. At a, at a, in their teenage years. So he made sure I was there every, not only during the summers, but every Saturday, school holidays, that Friday after Thanksgiving and all. Uh, and it paid off well, that experience working because the family business closed when I was a sophomore in college. So I had to work my way through school for the next two and a half years. And uh, I graduated on time and I've been financially on my own ever since. I worked my way through graduate school where I was enrolled full-time as a graduate student, waited tables full-time and taught part-time to make ends meet. And I've had a variety of other jobs so when I was young. Uh, I worked to pay back my student loans. My wife and I uh, paid for our own wedding, saved the down payment for our home. We have no car loans. We keep our credit cards at zero at the end of the month. Uh, and we still work side jobs in addition to working part-time. So. I'm saying that because I want you to appreciate uh, two things. Number one, uh, I know what working families in Montgomery County need from the state to make things a little bit easier for themselves. And secondly, uh, I want you to get an idea of how I'm gonna handle your tax money when I'm in Annapolis. Uh, those experience give me a, uh, an understanding of what uh, working families need. You know, and there's a difference between what we know and what we understand. You know, we understand, we know things that people tell us about or we read about, but we only really understand things that we've experienced or we've done. And I think my life experience mirrors that of the constituents of District 17. Now, Mauricio mentioned uh, professionally, I'm a diplomat. I served in the US Foreign Service for 26 years. And during that time I negotiated free trade agreements, resettled refugees, managed the cost center, which brings in $18 million a year in government revenue, and oversaw a cost of service study for $2 billion in US government fees. Uh, in addition to that, I have legislative experience. I have interpreted, implemented, and actually drafted laws. So uh, I have some experience with legislation although on Capitol Hill, not in the State House in uh, Annapolis. I understand the Latin American experience, having lived and worked in Latin America for 10 years, including on the Mexican side of our Southern border. Uh, and uh, my spouse is Latina. Uh, we've been married for nearly 24 years and she teaches Spanish herself. Uh, so I not only know what needs to be done, but based on 30 years of public service, I know how to get things done. Uh, 